Hello, welcome back to Cooking Experiments. We are going to continue the trend of cooking experiments impromptu where we've got some stuff around and we're going to make something in one take, one shot or something similar. Now, there's been some time because of this pandemic that we've been really craving for some Japanese food. And so we thought, why not make something which is going to be very, very nice and tasty. In fact, we spoke to some of our friends and they said they missed that as well. So today, we actually have a couple of our friends joining us to make this together. So why don't we call them over? So guys, come on in. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hey. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy you guys could make it. Uh, so Shreya, Amai, Hello. welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. What do we feel like eating today? Well, uh, you know, we were missing katsu curry as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, we are big fans of, say, Baka Mama in the UK. And uh, once you told us that you were making some katsu curry, we couldn't really resist the chance to A, learn, and B, you know, eat the katsu curry after we're done over here. All right, so let's make some katsu curry. Uh, I'm actually going to move to the other side and let you drive if that's okay. Yeah, that's so come, come on over. And I'm going to start talking through all the ingredients that we have set up right now. So uh, maybe Shreya, you can start the, the uh, heat. In the meanwhile, I'll make sure that I walk through some of the things. All right, we've got the, the heat going. Right, so we've got some ingredients over here. We've got some onions, we've got some ginger, garlic, some turmeric, some curry powder, some all-purpose flour, some chicken stock, soya sauce, coconut milk, and some salt and sugar to taste. Uh, we have all the details in the description about the measurements. So let's add some oil to start off with. Uh, usually you can add any kind of non-flavored oil. So we've gone for just simple vegetable oils in this case. And once we've added the oil, we wait for the oil to get a bit warm. So what, what, what about, what, what, what is it about cat's curry that you guys enjoy really? I think for me personally, uh, Katsu curry was probably one of the earlier forms of fusion food. Mm. So, uh, you had, um, say, in Japan in the 1700s or 1800s, you had basically a lot of European traders and so forth. And, you know, they, like one of the German traders, bought over a schnitzel. Right. So, what they did, the Japanese local chefs did, was they basically adapted the schnitzel and just, you know, bought in all the spices and the rice. You know, so it was an early form of fusion food. Right, so that was helpful, that, that, that whole uh, idea. Well, we, sh we should make sure the oil is not too warm. So I think let's go ahead and add this, onions. Uh, what we're going to do with the onions is we're going to cook it just so that it becomes translucent and slightly golden. Right. We're going to make sure that we don't overcook it. So that way we, we, we get that flavors from the onions, but without actually trying to burn it as we see in some of the other ones. So you don't want to basically make it bitter by burning it too much. Correct. So that's why you want it just right, a golden texture. Indeed, nice. indeed, yeah. indeed. And that's going to take about five minutes. Okay, so it's been about five minutes and we can see the onions look to have become a little translucent, just a little golden. I, I think let's go on to the next step. So, Shreya, what we're going to do is we're going to add some ginger and garlic. What we are doing right now is we are adding it as a paste. But if you want to just finely chop them, that's absolutely fine. So, go, go for it. Go for it. And just to give everybody an idea, what's, what, what's going to happen is, first we're going to make the curry, right? And then we're going to pan the chicken. So, once the curry is ready, we'll put that aside and we'll pan the chicken. Okay, so it looks like the onions uh, with the ginger and garlic look ready. So let's start adding our spices. So we've got some uh, turmeric powder. So I'm going to pass you some turmeric powder. And we've got some curry powder. Uh, so please go ahead and let's add that. Now, what is curry powder? I have absolutely no idea. Why didn't you tell me? Trust me, I had no idea as well. And uh, we did some Googling and essentially it is mixing some red chili powder, some coriander powder, some cumin powder and you can add some more things to it like garam masala uh, but essentially 
depending on how spicy you want it, you, you, you can play around with that. So we've just added a couple of those uh, flavors yeah. together. So next, I think we are ready to put the flour. Um, so this is all-purpose flour. We're going to add some all-purpose flour to, uh, to the heat and let it go on. Now, what we want to do is as soon as we've added the all-purpose flour, we want to mix it really nicely. Let 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 make sure that all the flour gets mixed with the, those, those onions. And that's going to make sure that it, it helps to get that consistency that we are looking for. Now, what we have also done is we've created about 600 ml of chicken stock and you'll have all the details in the description. And we're going to add some chicken stock when we feel we are ready. We'll wait for the flour to change color slightly. Uh, so we don't want to burn it too much, but just a little bit to, to make sure that it's cooked before we add the, 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 the chicken stock. So we add that chicken stock and make sure you keep mixing it because this is where it's going to start creating those lumps. Right, so we want about two tablespoons of soya sauce. So I'm going to give you a tablespoon for that. And we want about 200 ml of coconut milk which is going to be half of this and it really depends how much uh, creamy you like your katsu curry how do you guys usually like your katsu curry creamy not so creamy tangy i think we would probably a bit tangy yeah a bit bit on the tangy side okay for sure. got it so let's make sure we add the soya sauce and we'll add about half of the coconut milk so two two two, two teaspoons of that All right, thank you, I can take that. Let's give it a nice mix. And then we're gonna use the coconut milk and use half of this. And at that point, we let it simmer after we've added the coconut milk. And that's pretty much our katsu curry ready. Right, so final thing to do, let's add some salt and sugar. So we've already removed some sugar over here so let's get one of these spoons and we'll add about a couple of one teaspoon yeah just let, let's add all the sugar and then a pinch of salt of course you can you can fix your salt based on how salty you want it so we'll add a little bit of salt and at that point we can pretty much say that we are done with cutting all the ingredients. Okay, so why don't we let it simmer? So if we put this on simmer and we'll see what the end product is. But I think at this point, I want to thank both of you for coming on the show and uh, being such a sport and helping us to make this. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so now that we're done with our curry, thanks to our lovely friends who joined us, we're going to do the next part, which is where we're going to pan it the chicken. Just took a nice little break, had some chin and tonic. Now let's go ahead and start uh, making the chicken. So for that, what I've got, in fact, I'm going to start the heat to make sure this gets nice and warm. That's good. Right, so what I've got is I've got some chicken breasts. I've sliced them into half. That way they are really thin and what we are going to do with them is we are going to first dip it in flour, then some eggs and then some uh, breadcrumbs and then put that into the hot oil that we are preparing over here. So in fact, we can add some oil at this point. You can deep fry the chicken, we are going to shallow fry it just for health reasons really. And within about 5 minutes, it five to ten minutes it does become nice and brown uh, and that's when we know that it started to cook now I've absolutely forgotten my spatula so I'm gonna to try to get one all right so hopefully this is gonna get warm by the time so this is something that I've learned over a period of time you never mix your dry hand with your wet hand so it's going to be dry wet dry and then in right so we take the first piece we add it to our flour and really what we are trying to do over here is just let it just take all the flour in we transfer it 
to the egg and again you use the different hand to mix that up and then finally we pass it over to the breadcrumbs and then make sure that the breadcrumbs are nicely coated around the chicken. At this point when we feel we are happy we'll pick it up and put it in and I'm going to do it one more time just to show you so that we can add the second one. So, right. Flour. Dry, that is. And the reason I'm suggesting to not mix both of these up is because otherwise your hand becomes one gooey mess. Which is not ideal. Wet, which is some eggs. You can also add some salt and pepper to your eggs and then finally some bread crumbs and trust me it's, it, it is delicious I had no idea how simple this is to make till we actually tried it once and now I think this is like one of the easiest things to make with chicken and then we just drop it in the oil I'm gonna do one more Okay, so at this time I'm going to flip the first chicken that we had put and hopefully it's going to be slightly brown and yes it is. So we're going to keep following the chicken over here and make it this particular color and once this is ready we'll start assembling everything together. Okay, so finally let's assemble all of this together. We've got a bed of rice ready to be decked up. So first, I'm going to add this lovely chicken that we just made. And on top of that, I'm going to add the delicious katsu curry that we had Shreya and Amma help make. And of course, we don't have to forget the greens. So we're going to add some green salad with it to make sure we have a delicious, lovely meal. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We look forward to showing you more such fun and simple recipes.